Hi everyone, this is Emily Leapart from Art from the Heart. I'm sharing a short video to share products from the Paper Smooches June 2019 release, as well as two cards I made with four of the six products. This stamp set is called Sunnyville, and it has the cutest images illustrated by Kim and features four encouraging sentiments, which are great for everyone in your life. There's a cute layering sun which you can use in so many ways, with or without the cute faces in the glasses, and especially in combination with the coordinating Sunnyville icons and even the sunny dyes, as you'll see in my second card. Of course, a sky isn't complete without some clouds. There's even a sun hugging a cloud, which has to be the single cutest image ever. There's also a cute little bird which can be perched on just about anything, including the cup of sunshine dies and the Vespa die. Going back to the layered sun, you can use the solid stamp with all four styles of rays. I see that curvy one as steam for the mug stamp in this set, as well as a cup of sunshine dies. Here are the Sunnyville icons, and now the cup of sunshine dies. I'm so happy it has a solid backing, which makes it easy to have something to adhere all the die cut pieces to. Next, we have the sunny dies, which can be layered in so many ways. I just love this set, especially the two faces and those glasses. The glasses die is an exact match to the glasses stamp in Sunnyville, so you can either use the stamp for a one-layered look, or die cut it from colored cardstock to add dimension. There are also mini clouds dies, and while Paper Smooches offers quite a few different styles of clouds, you can never have enough clouds, because sometimes you need big ones or little ones, fancy ones and simple ones. I love that these are small and simple. When placed next to the Vespa die, you can see how the mini clouds dies could be used to build a scene, as clouds in the sky and even puffs of exhaust coming out of the back of the Vespa. Let's get started on my cards. This first one features the cup of sunshine dies, and I'm starting by adhering both die cut pieces to each other. This way, I can insert the colored pieces in their respective spots. I'm using basic colors to signify the sky, grass, and flaming sun and you can find the exact cardstock colors in the supply links below. For the sun rays, I use the rubber tip of my tweezers to push out the pieces. Then I use a jewel picker to pick out the pieces and place them. At this point, I could just adhere the sparkly layer on top and finish the image, but I'm going to add more die cut layers in colors to match the inlaid pieces. This way, you see a rainbow of layers leading up to the sparkly top layer. As it turns out, I've forgotten two small pieces underneath the cloud, so I quickly add those before stacking the colored layers. It's messy and time-consuming, but the result is worth it. I can't use my Xyron sticker maker because the die is too big to fit in it. Xyron does, however, make three larger sticker makers, and I'm seriously contemplating getting one since I love working with dies like this. It would make it so much easier to layer all these pieces, especially since Paper Smooches has a lot of beautiful dies like this. I'll include a link below to 2.5, 3-inch, and 5-inch sticker makers for those of you who are interested. Looking back on this video, I'm not exactly sure why I placed another white layer before I adhered the sparkly layer, but I guess it can't hurt. After that top layer is on, I use an X-Acto knife to clean up some of the excess glue. The glue will dry clear, but I just wanted to help it along. It'll dry faster without all the extra glue on the edges. Here's a closer look at the layered cup of sunshine dies. I don't know how well you can see it on screen, but it's a lot of fun to see up close and in person. I used a stitched flourish die to add some steam detail above the mug, but it turns out it's retired. However, you can find a similar die in the Stitching Basics die set, as well as a stamped version in the Cyber Cafe stamp set. I've listed both of these for you in the supply links below as possible options. I'm also going to die cut one of the Flourishes 1 dies from vellum and add that in combination with the stitched flourish. It's such a pretty detail when the two styles of steam are layered together. Now it's time to stamp the sentiment. I center all the elements in my mini misty tool to help me gauge the position of the sentiment, which reads, You are my sunshine. I use my design ruler to center the sentiment, remove the mug, condition the sentiment, and stamp it with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I want to attach the vellum flourish to the back of the mug before attaching it to the panel. This decreases the chances of me of getting the flourish in the wrong place if I do it all at the same time. I apply a strip of score tape, center it, and press it down to pick up the vellum flourish. After that, I add more score tape to the back of the mug and attach it to the panel. Then I attach the panel to the card base, and I think I'm done, but I'm not. I decided that it wasn't enough for the sentiment to reference the sun. I wanted the sun to be sunnier, so I wanted to create a face using the tiny little heart stamp and one of the smiles. Unfortunately, I couldn't stamp the face directly onto the red piece already inlaid since the edges were built up too high with the stacked die cuts. The only way this was going to work was if I stamped it on another piece and pushed it in. 
Since the die cuts aren't layered perfectly, this was very difficult, but with some patience and care so as not to crease the cardstock, I was able to do it. At first I used my fingers, then I used tweezers with the rubber tip on it so the point wouldn't poke holes in the cardstock. Finally, I used the jewel picker around the edges. To finish this card, I added a few sparkling clear sequins on the stitched flourishes, and here's a closer look at the finished card. It's clean and simple, but has a lot of extra details like the fancy steam and rainbow layered die cuts. Moving on to my second card featuring the Sunnyvale stamp set and dies, I start by stamping the layered sun on linen cardstock. I love the texture of this cardstock, and it really gives that something extra to simple cards, so I use it often. In fact, it's my favorite white cardstock. Then I stamp the sunglasses and show you the die cut version of it from the Sunny die set. It's pretty much the exact same size. I move the glasses onto the sun so I know where to stamp the eyes and mouth. Just look how adorable it is after it's die cut. Those rays are so tiny and perfect, and the sun is even cuter wearing the blue glasses. After I adhere the glasses to the sun, I can prepare to stamp the rest of my scene. I place the panel in my mini misty and stamp clouds in blues to match the glasses. I stamp the clouds in two different blues to get a perfect color match to the cardstock the glasses were die cut from. I went ahead and die cut the mini clouds dies from vellum to see how they would look layered over the stamped clouds. To be honest, I didn't like how they looked at the time, but now that I'm seeing it on video, I love it, and I must go back and make this version. I can't believe I decided against it at first. After I stamped the sentiment, I adhere the panel to the card base and attach the sun with foam tape. Once again, I add a few sparkling clear sequins to finish the card. I really love the simplicity of this one. Clean and simple was my original style way back when I started blogging, and it's so nice to go back to that once in a while. Plus, these types of cards are super easy to replicate. All of the little details on this card add up to a whole lot of cuteness. It would be so much fun to stamp this same design in different colors like a pink sun with purple clouds. Once again, here are the two cards together. All products are now available to purchase and you can find those links in the description below or on my blog. You have until midnight on June 8, 2019 to blog hop with the Paper Smooches design team and guests for a chance to win a $30 gift certificate to the Paper Smooches online store. Eligible comments for that giveaway need to be left on my blog so click on the link below to participate. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to see more of my videos. As always, you can visit my blog for more details, photos, and a full supply list. Thanks so much for watching!